Very early in grade school, I encountered my first mean girl. Every time I saw her, she'd call me skinny bones. She teased me about my weight or lack thereof and then would laugh like it was the funniest thing in the world. At some point, she left my school. I didn't miss her. Her name was Jamie. For years, I was very self-conscious about my overall body image as a result of her behavior and ruthless teasing. Fast forward to high school. One day out of the blue, a girl came up to my locker very excited to see me. It was Jamie. I had a moment of rage, so much so that I couldn't talk to her. Instead, I turned around and walked away, never to see her again. In hindsight, I could tell that she had no recollection of how she treated me when we were young. Did you know that events that happen to you when you are young stay with you? They may never fully go away because they morph into who you are and become a part of your story, a chapter from a certain point in time. Even if you've dealt with the situation, it's still there. Your experiences always shape who you later become. As a grown adult today, I can still feel the exact feelings of how her behavior towards me made me feel. Why am I sharing this with you? Because unbeknownst to me at that time, it was a pivotal moment. That skinny bones little girl had no clue at seven years old what that experience would mean to her today. Am I glad it happened? No. But it's because of that and a handful of other similar experiences that I am where I am today. And for that, dear listener, I am very grateful. Some of these experiences are the best worst things that could have happened to me. It's from those experiences that I knew without a doubt I had to be an advocate for other women, women about this intangible, so frequently not talked about behavior. Some of my biggest pain points became my biggest source of passion and purpose. This is a big week for me. It's launch week for my book, Behind Frenemy Lines, Rising Above Female Rivalry to Be Unstoppable Together. Behavior that I'd witnessed at work over 15 years ago turned into an idea for research, which turned into my PhD dissertation, which turned into more research, which is now a published book. Not only have I witnessed female rivalry behavior targeted towards other women, I've also experienced this insidious behavior head on. Experiencing it was one of the best worst things that could have happened to me. One of my biggest pain points became my biggest source of purpose. And from that, I knew I had to be an advocate for other women to publicize this intangible, frequently not talked about behavior. Even though I'm now an adult woman, inside, I still feel like that young girl in grade school, that tween in middle school, that teen at high school graduation, that college girl figuring out her path in life, that young lady on her first day of her new corporate job, that new mother with an infant. Inside, it's still the same me who's been on this crazy ride every step of the way. That skinny little girl is still there. She's been there for every milestone, every ending, and every new beginning. All ages, stages, and phases of her have helped shape me to who I am today. It's her story, my story, our story. It's all of the different experiences in my life that have helped me to truly know and understand who I am. She would not be who she is inside there. Also learning too. So hot damn skinny bones. You've come a long way, baby. And now, because of all of my experiences and research on this topic, I'm on a mission to free the world from frenemies. My hope with my book, Behind Frenemy Lines, is that we're able to overcome this negative behavior and promote a sisterhood of support and collaboration. If businesses can change their corporate culture so that this behavior isn't tolerated and the elephant in the boardroom swept under the rug so that the workplace is an equitable environment for all women. If my message can inspire women in social settings to put their guard down and to get to know each other as real people, to be allies instead of adversaries, 
then I've won. And let me tell you, I can't wait to see this wave of change happen so that more women begin to empower and lift each other up versus tear down. Are you ready to join me? You already are. It's time to be. P.S. Stay tuned for my next vlog out this week that will resume with part two of a three-part series about Mean Girls and Coping. <laughs>